I think one has to understand that millions and millions of people in the world, partly as a result of globalization, have been plunged into living a life of precariousness. And what that means is increasingly they're having to have unstable labor, unstable living conditions, uh, insecurity in many different ways. And many people feel that they have to concentrate on the short term in order to survive. They never feel in control of their time. They feel insecure and stressed and under pressure. And this has induced what I call the four A's. The first is what sociologists call anomie, a sense of despair, a sense of feeling that there's no escape from a life of, of constant stress and lack of control. The second is what, what we call alienation, a feeling that you have to do a hell of a lot of things that you don't want to do, and you can't do the things that you would like to do and that you feel capable of doing. And the third, of course, is anxiety, constant anxiety, a feeling that one little accident, one little extra debt could produce homelessness and, and a spiraling downward towards being a beggar. And the fourth, of course, is a sense of anger, a sense that all these things are happening, they shouldn't be happening, and we can't do much about it. And it's partly political, it's partly social and economic. So it's, it's, it's a real uh, a big problem. And ultimately, people in the precariat that I've talked about in my books feel that they are supplicants. They are people who, instead of having rights, have to ask and plead and fill in forms and ask and plead and satisfy some bureaucrat, uh, often in a state of bewilderment, but in a state of humiliation. And this sense of humiliation is very much part of the precarious life that we're seeing millions of people falling into. And it's something that's unsustainable because some people are turning to far-right political populists. Uh, many people feel alienated from political situations. And fortunately, a growing number of young, educated people are beginning to say we must do something about it and change the situation. It's not inevitable. Precariousness is not inevitable. But it does mean that we're going to have to address it as a fundamental challenge of our time.